How are we doing? Alrighty. Nick from Virginia's. Emma from Virginia's. How and next up, we've just done a non-alcoholic beer, so we're, we're moving on to the uh, onto the, the real stuff. Palettes are cleansed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we've got Beaver Town Solar Flare. Interesting. I've seen this before. This is a hazy double IPA, eight uh, percent, which I picked up, I think, from <coughs> Sainsbury's. No, in fact, it might have been um, Morrison's. I'm not sure. I think I picked this up on when I was in uh, Somerset. Yeah. Um, so. Let's get the beef ten thing out of the way. Yeah. So oh, when I first, so okay, so the, the brewery is or was owned by Robert Plant, son Logan Plant. So you know. Yeah, I respect you. Although, so as, as a Mad Led Zeppelin fan, you know that that's, that 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 Led Zeppelin that Robert Plant connection is. Uh, your tattoo, your tattoo. Led yeah, yeah. Zeppelin, I've got yeah. Led Zeppelin for on my arm, but never, never, you know, moving on from that. As a brewery. <laughs> I've got a very soft spot for this, so in terms of <coughs> Lipploid IPA. Yeah, was Gamma first, Ray as well. When I was first getting into like, um, um, hazy IPAs, Lipploid IPA was, yeah, was, was cool. like, oh, it was amazing. Yeah. Um, nice, nice now, the controversy over it is that, I think it was about two, two years ago, um, he sold 50% of Beaver Town to Heineken, is it? Heineken, I believe it was. Or the, the, yeah. the company that owns Heineken. And recently, oh yeah, it's probably the, not high the whole lot has gone. So has it though? Is that just in your head? I haven't noticed any difference. You no, think the beer's no, gone there? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, no. okay. So what I'm saying is the ownership has now gone. He sold everything basically. So it's fully owned by Heineken or the company okay. behind that. The question is, is because and so there's massive backlash. Has it affected the beer? I don't think they're stupid enough to. Do they know like the, the look at Brewdog. That was going that way before. Punk IPA is a travesty but that's because it, it used to be. I don't know. I still quite like it. I'm not saying it's a bad beer, but it's nothing like it. But that's because I think that's more mass production than anything else, probably, because they have yeah. to produce so much more. Of it, so yeah, it's going but that, that's... that's well, I don't what, know. What but I, I think that... Well, I'm of the view that a lot of the big, you know, breweries, the big corporation type things, they've realised, they've seen how the effect of, like, craft beer on the, on the beer world so they know people want but then they have to sell it to the supermarkets and they have to meet that price point and that's where but they, they, are they, if they're okay it depends what they're buying it for let's see yeah i mean i must admit it's, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't necessarily i've reviewed a couple of supermarket beers recently that. and the same like for example um northern monk do supermarket beers and they do their own ones yeah. like normal double ipas and the, the like the double ipas the ones on their website knock the shit out of the ones that sell in the supermarket. Apart from Faith, Faith 5.4% 5, 5. Hazy Pale. It was cracking. Really, really yeah, good. That amazing. was the only one I reviewed of them in the supermarket beer that was any good. All the rest was shite. Yeah. Anyway, we're not talking about... Um, I, like, I like to reserve my reserve my judgment until I taste the beer rather than find out who, who brews it and stuff like that. That's, that's, that's absolutely. Old. And to be honest, I wish that a, a three quid double IPA was as good as like a six quid double IPA because it just said so well, you know it's gonna be hard to do because I mean a good one has shit loads of hops in it which costs a lot of money isn't it yeah. so yeah but then yeah. you'd think if they're like mass producing it if they can if they can scale it up correctly then you know maybe it's possible don't know a few tax on top of things as well isn't gonna help is it yeah but they're all that's the point yeah because obviously they've they've I've got a video on the channel, by the way, about um, small brewers relief and the the new sort of duty that came in in August. Okay, if you're, if you're interested in that sort of thing, then check that out. So, so let's what, have a look. What percentage we got? Eight percent. Eight percent. So it is a straw coloured. It is. Certainly hazy. It's I'm solid. Not, not like it, Andrew. Yeah. I mean, I've seen hazier, but you yeah. know, it looks looks the part, doesn't it? Porridge, is that how they call this sort of mm. stuff? Not, it's not quite as well. It's not as thick enough to be classed that. Out. Not quite as porridge, but it's getting yeah. on that. One finger of white head. It's getting nose. Okay. Oh, that smells of lychee. It does actually. You're right. You don't think? It does. I was thinking, what the hell is that smell? I know. You're better at that sort of thing than I am. Lychee. Yeah. Does it, it say what hops that. are in it? Doesn't say what hops are in it. That's frustrating. What do you think it was egg and... I don't know. I'm not sure. Would there be citrus in that? I do, just a bit of... Yeah, I'm not picking up any citrus, are you? There's an underline, underneath it, I think. There might be a little bit. Maybe. Again. Maybe maybe <coughs> a little bit of grapefruit bitterness underneath. I don't know. Yeah. But it might be my, my imagination. Solar flare. Um, 
So shall we dive in? Let's. Yes, let's. Cheers. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of dankness in there. There is dankness. Yeah. So body is medium. There's a bit of body to this. Carbonation's light. It is. It is. That is actually not bad, you know. Mm. Not bad at all. I'm pleasantly surprised. So I think there's mosaic in there. Yeah, possibly. Oh. I'm not getting. Or is there? I'm trying to think. Was there, was there any of that grapefruit smell I was getting in the taste? There is a sort of bit. The bitterness there's is a, sort of like a, a bit of a grapefruit. There's a bit of bitterness going on. I'm not picking up any. Maybe a bit of tangerine at the back end. Tangerine? Like yeah. orange? Only a little bit. Not tasting the lychee. No. No. There's a lot of um I don't know how to describe it, almost like a hint of saltiness off the back the back taste of it. Um, Do you get what I mean? Yep, yeah, I know what you mean. I'm, I'm maybe that's the dankness. Yeah, it probably is. It's nice. It's it's good. Yeah, I give that thumbs up. Um I'll say, I've, I've done it. Ooh, a bit of alcohol coming there, through there now. A bit of warmness down the back of the neck. Yeah, I always like I'm that. I'm leaving it, which yeah. I don't mind. The, the taste, there's no, you don't taste the alcohol in it though. That's what your 8% of course it well. That's decent. It's not, I mean, it's not overpowering the hoppy. I mean, I'm just such a hop head, you know. I, I, the more yeah, hops yeah, yeah, that's there. Yeah. I'm, I'm just so, generally any beer, really. Yeah, any um, beer. but this is, this is decent, I have to say. I'd I'm pleasantly it. surprised. Yeah, yeah, it's worth it. How much was it? Um, I think it's uh, it's on three or four quid. Okay. I can't remember. That's alright for that, to be honest. If it's three quid, then it's a, it's a bargain. If it's four quid... Four forty mil can. Um, but that, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, but I, think, I think it's decent. Um, out of ten? Ooh, let me see. I'm always fairly quite uh, generous with this. I would go... You know, for quaff, it, it's definitely quaffable as well, isn't it? Quaffability yeah. is is always important for me as well. Like, it's, it's, which means you, for me that means you can keep drinking it because some mm. some some really heavy IPAs are lovely when you get a get, you know when you get the first couple of ones. Then afterwards, the bitterness you start getting sick of it or it's, it starts getting to you. But that well, I could keep drinking. Yeah, it's light. It's it's light <coughs> enough body to be able to. Uh, yeah. yeah it's like, I give it, okay. And there is I've after, got a figure in mind, there right? is bitter. I'm thinking about seven. I was thinking seven. Were you? Yeah. Hell, great minds think alike. Yeah. It's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so seven out of ten, which to be honest with for me, anything six and above is good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's um and for the for the price as well, I think it's really good. So I think that as a beer it's a seven out of ten, as a as a value, I'm I'm thinking, you know, maybe eight, nine, but we don't rate on value, we rate on beer. Um, but yeah, if you are going to supermarket and you see this, and you like your hoppy, mm. hazy um, IPAs, pick it up. I don't think you'd be disappointed. You know, it's a really good, an exceptional fridge filler. Yeah, maybe not one that's going to be, you know, top of the shelf centre point, but um, it's definitely one that you that you should pick up, in my opinion. Oh, so I get you hammered at eight percent. Yeah, eight percent. So, thanks for watching. Um, thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. Comment in the box if you've had it. Uh, Beaver 10 and sell the flare, hazy double IPA coming at 8%. 7 out of 10 from Beer Genius. Nom nom nom. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.